Hello everyone, welcome to my future channel. So today I'm gonna make a grilled salmon with mayonnaise and miso. Good sound, right? This is good for a bento menu as well. And then also I think it's been a long time when I have cooked the fish. So I hope you also try it. I hope you also love it. So okay, let's get started. So these are today's ingredients and this recipe is as simple as putting the sauce on top of the salmon and baking it. It has a lot of flavor so it tastes great even when cold. So first, place the salmon fillets in the baking tray and then let's remove the salmon's order. Cooking sake and salt can take away the smell of the fish. So first, uh, please pour 3 tablespoons of cooking sake over all. So, and then next, please sprinkle with 1.5 teaspoon of salt. So, but if you don't have a cooking sake, you can use just salt. First, pat the salmon dry with kitchen roll, then sprinkle with salt. After a while, the salmon will release some of its water. So, pat it dry with kitchen roll. This is enough to remove the smell. So, okay, let's get back to the first salt topic. Turn over salmon fillet and sprinkle the other side with salt and then let it rest for 10 minutes. Hi, okay, 10 minutes have passed. So I will wash the all the salmon. So to prevent the nutrients from the escaping the salmon fillets, lightly rinse off the salt and the cooking sake. Okay, and then next, please use a paper towel to pat uh, salmon's dry. Okay, it's done. So, and then next, let's seasonings. So, okay, line your baking parchment. I use a toaster oven to cook these salmon fillets. The Japanese often use this for cooking, uh, but if you are using an oven, preheat it to 200 degrees Celsius. And then place the salmon fillet here. Okay, okay, no bad. Great. So, okay, let's make a sauce. So, first, please add one tablespoon of the soya sauce. So, and then next, please add one tablespoon of sugar. I will use the brown sugar. This is a Yachan's house making. So, and then next, please add that two tablespoons of mayonnaise. If you have a cubey mayonnaise, I'm gonna recommend it. Taste is super good, my favorite one. So, and then next, please add the two tablespoons of white miso. And then mix well. Mm, okay, okay. So, uh, no, 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 So, okay, I baked in the toaster oven for 15 minutes, or if you are using an oven, set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and bake the salmon for 10 to 12 minutes, or until the surface is blistered and brown a bit. Okay, okay. So 10 minutes have passed. Oh, it so looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, just get that one. Okay, let's take out. Huh? 
はい、I made it。だらん、I made a salmon m i s o m a y o じゃーん、できました。サーモン味噌マヨ is ready. So, this time I will try the taste. あ、食べよう。Let's begin. This is my lunch. いただきます。So, first, let's try the salmon. あ、柔らかい。It's very soft. You don't think the skin. Great. Can you smell? Miso and mayonnaise is a good combination, but, but I feel I'm feeling a little bit sweetish taste. So if you don't wanna use the sugar or honey, maybe please less the sugar or honey. Oh, no bark. I think I this this taste is that children also love it. Maybe this is good for the rice bowl as well. Onigiri ni shite mo koi o shi to mo. Oh, okay, thank you for watching my YouTube channel, guys. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. So, and then see you in my next video. Bye! もう夢中だね、ソーセージにあんた。ありがとうございます。はい、<笑>かわいい。夢中ですな。いっぱい食べて大きくなれ。こうやっていっぱい食べたね。美味しかった。まだ行きそうだ。ありがとうね来てくれてお父もサンキューはいまたまた来てねまたバイバイまたね<笑>またね<笑>バイバイ